Hey YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. This is Tracy's World. I'm Tracy, aka Wilhelmina. Some call me Willie. Let's talk alopecia. And if you're wondering why I don't have my bald head, well, that's because I like my wig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this picture up here so that y'all can see what I look like with our hair. I'm sure you're probably curious. Anyway, what I have done is I've come up with a bunch of questions. People have been asking me questions after questions. They don't know what alopecia is, which to me is kind of shocking, I guess. Of course, I didn't know what alopecia was either until I got it. So anyway, what I have done is I have came up with 16 questions that people have asked me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read them off and then I'm going to answer them. I'm going to be very candid with my uh, life and how I felt um, getting alopecia. So Okay, so here we go. Question one. What type of alopecia do I have? Well, I have alopecia areata, and um, which was like a, it didn't all come out of my head at one time. It just slowly got thin, but because I didn't know what it was and I didn't do anything about it, um, my, from around here, my eyebrows, I mean not my eyebrows, but um, my temples, from my temples all the way around to the back on the other side, that will grow. But up top here is completely bald. I don't have a hairline. I don't have any eyebrows. Um, if you see hairs, I'll come up really close. But if you see hairs, I guess it'll focus in. It's only a few. For the most of my eyebrow, is um, tattooed on. Anyway, um, that's what type of alopecia I have. Question number two. How did you find out you had alopecia? Well, I didn't know what it was. I was going thin and you know I tried to cover it up. I could part my hair one place and cover it up and part it another place and then it got bigger and bigger and then when it got to the point where I couldn't part it anymore, then that's when I decided to go to the doctor. When I couldn't cover it anymore, I couldn't put hair weave in it um, because it was I was gluing the hair weave to my scalp. Then I decided to go to the doctor. Anyway, that's uh, he put this probe in my head, sat me in front of a camera, and he let me actually see my scalp. So when he showed it to me, my scalp was like the back of my hand. It didn't have any pores in it at all, just the top part. And uh, he said that is where there will be no hair ever again unless I got implants which I wasn't trying to do although I did try I went to the company called Bosley Bosley or whatever you call it anyway I went there um, they looked at it realized what I had and told me it was best for me to wait until all of my hair came out and then go back because if I got it now then uh, that they could put the transplant in but the hair around the transplant was going to continue to come out so I would be wasting my money. Question number three. How long did I have alopecia? Well, I still have alopecia. <laughs> I'm 48 years old. Like I said, it started when I was about um, 24. I think it was in my, my early 20s or mid 20s, whatever. 24 years old when my hair started coming out. Um, and I still have it. I'm just more comfortable with it now. Question number four. Where on my scalp did I have alopecia? Well, right now, it's on my whole head. <laughs> but um, when it first started, it was at the top of my head. I do have some uh, co-workers and friends and some associates that I know of that actually have alopecia. And they have that alopecia that where they have a, a spot missing on the side of their head or... Um, some spots up here even I know someone who is close to me that has what they call traction alopecia and that comes from pulling uh, your hair when you're wearing braids extensions you're keeping your hair in a ponytail for too long and it's too tight then um, that's what traction alopecia is so uh, it mine started at the top of my head and then it just spread all the way out. Question number five. I think I just answered this one. Did my alopecia spread or get worse? Well, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> my alopecia spread. 
But if you could think of anybody that you know that is thinning at the top of their head, and then as they, um, as time goes by, it's starting to spread, but it's thin. They still have hairs in it, but you can see their scalp. Well, that's way. That's the way mine was. I always tell people mine started off as um, a old man or a man's head. It's thin. You see the scalp. They still have hairs. You try to cover it up, and then it just spreads, spreads, spread. Then the guys, I didn't do this, but the guys, I noticed they'll wear caps. They'll wear baseball caps. They'll wear hats, or you know, to cover it up. Females, we're not like that. At least I'm not. I'm not a hat person. So yes. Mine spread and yes, mine got worse. Question number six. Did I receive a cure or get a cure? I guess that's what they're asking me. Um, no, I didn't. I mean, at the time my alopecia I didn't know I had alopecia, I didn't know what it was. Um so I can't cure something that I don't know what it is. And I didn't try to you know how sometimes you you're sick and you try to um cure your own self so you keep letting it get worse and get worse and then before you know you're like okay I can't handle this let me get to the doctor well that's how I was with my alopecia I uh, started covering it up covering it up when it got to a point where I couldn't cover it anymore then that's when I decided to go to the doctor by then it was too late there was nothing that they could could do because I had let it uh, progress into something into a more um, into a bigger area of my head. Anyway, that's it. Nope, didn't find a cure. And be honest with you, I ain't looking for one right now. Alrighty, ooh. Question number seven. Did you get bumps in, in the patches of your alopecia? Well, first of all, I didn't have patches of alopecia. I just had just the one area that spread. And no, I didn't get any bumps. My alopecia is like the back of, my head is like the back of my hand. See how smooth that is? And there's no hairs on my hand. Well, that's how my alopecia is. Um, so no, I didn't get any bumps or anything in the back of, um, I mean, <laughs> on, my, uh, on my head where the alopecia was. Question number eight. Did I have a rash? Nope, no rashes at all. Um, it's pretty smooth, actually. It, it just started coming out, little tiny pieces of hair. I was looking in the sink, and there they were, and they had a little white ball on the tip of it, which was my follicle. And um, that was it. Didn't have any rashes, no bumps, no, um, no nothing. It wasn't open skin. It was nothing, no scabs, no nothing like that. To number nine, was my scalp sore? No, it wasn't. I, I didn't know of... Uh, I didn't even know it was there until I happened to look in the mirror and even the whole time that I've had alopecia from it's growing like get, just getting bigger I didn't know that um, I couldn't tell it was there I could see it but I couldn't feel it so though I didn't get any scabs or anything in my head question number 10 was my scalp itchy yep it sure was and that was the thing about it the area that was getting thin, it itched like crazy. I don't know why. It didn't, it didn't itch to the point where, you know how sometimes you get a mosquito bite and, and you just scratch and you don't care if you're tearing skin or not. <laughs> I know I don't. Um, it wasn't like that type of an itch. It was an itch like um, like on your back. You know how when you, you got a scratch on you, your, your back's itching and you want to scratch it and then when somebody hits that spot, you'd be like, oh yeah, there it is. Well, that's how it was with my, um, with the top of my head. There were times where I would just scratch it, and then it got to a point where I, I was like, okay, if I scratch it, I'm thinking my hair is going to come out more, so I'm not going to scratch it. So I started doing a pat. <laughs> you guys did it wear hair weaves, you know what I'm talking about. So I would just pat it. Question um, number eleven: Did I receive injections? Uh, no, not me. I wasn't getting no needles in my head like I said before. I'm I don't mind giving them, but I don't want to receive them. So no, I'm not going to get any, um, didn't want to, hadn't thought about it, and still not going to do it, get any injections in my head. Those of you that decide to do that, more power to you. But truthfully, my head is too far gone, or my hair, I guess you can say it, it's too far gone for me to try to get injections. Can you imagine that? Injections in my whole head from my temples 
from one temple to the other and to the back. Lord Almighty, that'd be like a thousand injections in one. So I opt out of that real quick. <laughs> Question number 12. Did I receive any medications or steroids to grow my hair back? Um, I really, geez, I don't really know. I don't, because it's been so many years ago. I know right now I'm not. But, um, I know, well, if you want to call those drops, those itching drops, I never put anything in my head to try to make the hair grow. I was going to go with Rogaine, but, um, it said that the Rogaine thing said that once you started, if any hair grew back, you had to continue it. Or when you stopped it, the hair that was grown by the Rogaine would come out. And I was like, I'm, I ain't playing, I'm game. So I just went on and, um, I said, forget it, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. And I dealt with it, and here I am. So, nope, I didn't use any uh, chemicals unless you want to call that stuff to stop it from itching a chemical. And I definitely didn't use no steroids. Question number 13. Did I use my hair growth aids for alopecia, such as shampoos, conditioners, pills? Well, I answered that the last in one of the last questions. Well, the question before this one question number 12 <laughs> anyway um no i didn't i didn't use any shampoos conditioners or anything i did um like i said with the itching and i just remembered i did use the um the shampoo the kind that smells like mint or the stinky stuff i used to shampoo my head with that to help with the itching but as far as to help it grow no i didn't use anything at all question number 14 what was the state of my new growth when my hair grew back in the sections of my alopecia? <laughs> well, uh, uh, I didn't have any new growth and my hair didn't grow back. Um, and that's pretty much what it is. Um, yeah. All right, question number 15. I don't really think some of these questions pertain to me. It says, how did I keep my new growth? How did I keep the new hair growth as moisturized as possible. Uh, well, I can't answer that because I didn't have any new hair growth. Question number 16. Last but certainly not least. What advice would I give for growing back hair from alopecia and hair loss? Well, um, the advice that I could give you for those of you that are just getting into the stages of alopecia the early stages of it even some of you that are in the late stages first of all I would say go to your doctor make sure you get there as soon as you notice hair coming out beeline right to that doctor the dermatologist not your family practice doctor so I can't just tell you you know do this 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 and this because you might not have the alopecia I'm talking about with the alopecia um, I would just say go to the dermatologist and then do as your doctor would do. Okay, so people want to know um, how did I handle alopecia? Um, well, like I said before, first of all, I was dealing with low self-esteem. And then on top of that, when my hair began to fall out, then that made me um, fall into like depression. And I didn't know how to react to it and uh, with the alopecia it was it was really a hard time for me I can say it um, it was really hard I and especially with my peers they had such uh, thick pretty long hair and um, mine was coming out so yeah I went through I went through a lot with um, that was one particular time where in my mind I was like you know what her hair is pretty. It's like I wonder what she would do if I would cut it. You know, cut it right off. But then I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? That was dumb, Tracy. So um, I got rid of that. But I'm just telling you the things that people deal with um, when they're going through such depression. I really, um, I had a lot of jealousy. But I can say today, hoo -hoo, I am very confident with my bald head. I am very confident in who I am. I know who I am. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel and like my video. Bye-bye.